Those of you Redditors in happy, healthy, and fulfilling relationships, what were the green flags you noticed about your partner early on in your relationship with them? Evaluating my needs, something as simple as offering me some of their water after getting it for themselves. Yes, Purple Heart, my partner is always offering me water, giving me their coat when I get goosebumps, putting food on my plate to make sure I've eaten enough. Without me even having to say anything. She isn't afraid to have a different opinion than mine, but she always hears me out and she always supports me. Every time I phrase something about myself in a negative way, she reframes it for me in a different light and more often than not it pulls me out of a dark mood. In my previous relationship I felt awfully critiqued for just being the person who I was, and that critique would often make me feel guilty for not meeting the standards set for me by my soul. Now that I've got a partner who celebrates who I am, I realize all along that I've been holding myself back from just doing what makes me happy. Being able to discuss anything, even flaws, without them slash me getting mad. Communication is the most important thing in a healthy relationship. Love is just as important though, I guess. Wait. I don't understand. You're saying when you tell them they did something that upset you, they don't turn it around on you and say you're the one being selfish cause they have anxiety? Communication is amazing. In the first few months of dating my GF I did slash said something my GF didn't like, and instead of being passive aggressive about it or complaining about me to other people which was how my family resolved things, she took me aside and explained how she felt and why she felt that way. It was really confronting at the time and really cemented how we communicated openly after that. It's been 20 plus years now so it definitely works for us. On the other hand, she never had people in her family encourage her or believe in her. So when she did well in studies or anything in her personal life I'd say how proud I was of her for sticking with it, learning, growing. She says that gave her a lot of strength to push through challenges, I know she struggles like any normal person, but a part of me still sees her as being unstoppable so I find it hard to comprehend her struggling with anything. My partner never made fun of me or acted condescending when I didn't know something. They were also humble when it came to gaps in their knowledge too. My fiancé is extremely intelligent. He has two STEM degrees, a very successful smart person career, his memory is stellar, and he's able to digest new information at lightning speed. I'm intellectually average, and a lifelong heavy reader with an English degree. He's never once made me feel stupid for not knowing or understanding something, which is lovely, but what gets me even more is his absolute comfort with the gaps in his own knowledge. He never pretends to know things he doesn't, and he's not self-conscious about it. His face absolutely lights up every time someone uses an unfamiliar word. He takes such obvious pleasure in learning. It's an admirable trait and was an early sign that he was somebody I wanted to spend a lot of time with. I have an autistic sister. She's currently 20 with the mental capacity of a 3 year old. Not everyone knows how to handle that. Well, 4 years ago when my girlfriend met my family, the two immediately became best friends. My girlfriend has always cared so much for my sister and would even sit with her while I wasn't home so my mom could go her life for herself. To this day, my sister smiles and laughs like a madman when she see my girlfriend. I don't know how much information she can retain but they've always loved each other, and I think my GF has had a huge impact on her life edit, spelling. That's genuinely adorable, props to your girlfriend. This whole thread has my heart meeting, but this one is the one that brought me nearly to tears at work. I'm really happy that you've found someone so obviously special. When the other ladies at my workplace were airing their complaints about their spouses, and I couldn't think of a single thing to contribute to the conversation. I had the same issue at work. All the guys in the plant were bitching about their wives and I'm just like well, when I get home I'm going to make her dinner and then we're going to watch shitty action movies while cuddling on the couch until bedtime. 
I can't imagine life where I know that my wife makes me miserable and we both know I make her miserable and we don't change anything. Can say the same. Been married for 15 years now. Don't get me wrong we get annoyed and mad at each other, but never to the point where I complain about him to others. He can laugh at himself. Yeah so do I, but when I do it they say you need to see a therapist and you good bro smh. I guess there's a difference between laughing at yourself and being so self-deprecating to the point where it's just awkward and sad around other people because everyone knows it's not really a joke and that you really do think that of yourself. He drove two hours on his birthday to pick me up when my mom abandoned me in a parking lot, brought me home, and sat with me while my parents and I tried to talk things over. My stepfather started screaming obscenities at me for no real reason, he helped me pack everything I owned in his truck and I moved in that night. After dating for two months. It's been two years, and we got married last month. Your husband and my husband could swap stories. My husband pulled me out of a horrible situation too. Been married for six years now. Congrats on your wedding. My then boyfriend told me he'd take care of me when my mom told me not to come home, W moved in together 3 weeks after we started seeing each other. It's been 15 years, 2 kids and we're still in love. Edits, awards, people? Had I known this 15 years ago, I would have moved in with him a week after and not waited all 3. Before my first marriage, I often thought that maybe I should cancel the wedding. And the marriage didn't work out. I never had that thought going into my second marriage. Not one, single time. That's a pretty hardcore green flag, right there. And obviously, potentially a red flag, too, if you're entertaining a fair amount of doubt prior to a wedding. I was engaged once before meeting my spouse. I held off on making any solid wedding plans, made excuses about money, maybe next year, glad I dodged that bullet. My now husband asked me to marry him in September and on Halloween the same year we had a beautiful small wedding. I was absolutely thrilled to marry the dude of my dreams. I'm glad I listened to my instincts the first time. Edit, my first award. Obligatory thank you kind stranger. It is much appreciated. Trust your gut, friends. This is an interesting point you bring up. I never once had a doubt when I married my wife, though you better believe I was still nervous as hell asking her to marry me. Which she still laughs at 16 years later lol. I've never wanted to marry anyone before I met my current boyfriend. I thought about it sure, but at this point I know if he asked me I wouldn't hesitate to say yes. I wanted to cancel my wedding. I wanted to grab my fiancé, jump in the car, and drive to Vegas to get married. My parents had such a green flag. My father never even asked my mother to marry her. They skipped the question and went straight to planning. I think my mother even initiated that conversation. Instead of asking will you marry me? They were like at which date shall we marry and how will we do it? And have been married for 28 years now. Having no expectations for anything to change after the wedding. We were already committed in our hearts, and there's no reason to be nervous about the wedding because it's just ceremony for others. There needs to be less focus on the wedding and more on the marriage. The morning of my wedding I was a nervous wreck. Not about getting married, but about having all eyes on me all day. My husband and I did first look pictures before the wedding itself and it was the best choice we could have made. As soon as I laid eyes on him all the nerves and anxiety just melted away, I knew I could face anything with him. Having that intimate moment before such a full and busy and emotional day ended up being one of the best things we did. Highly recommended for anyone getting married. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.